Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today is an exciting day because we are going back to my kitchen and we are going to be making something delicious. I'm going to show you guys how to make chocolate bark. This is specifically for Easter, but really you can make this anytime because let's be honest, I will eat this wherever and whenever. So let's just hop right into it. See what I did there? I'm using two types of chocolate for this. The first is a semi-sweet and I'm using four ounces or half a cup. For the white chocolate, I'm just using the chips and I ended up using two thirds of a cup. So all you're gonna do is break up your bar into smaller pieces, but if you're using chips, you can just pour them right into the bowl. And then I also poured in the white chips and make sure you're using microwave safe bowls. If you're melting them in the microwave, I would recommend putting one in for 30 seconds, taking it out and stirring it. And while you're doing that, put the other one in for 30 seconds. This way you can keep alternating them and stirring them until they're nice and melted but you won't have one finished and cooling off while the other one is melting in the microwave. This works best because they'll be ready at the same exact time. The next thing you wanna do is line a baking sheet with parchment paper and then you can pour your chocolate on top of the paper. Next, you can take a spatula and start spreading the chocolate out all over the parchment paper, making a rectangle shape. I wanted mine to be a bit thinner, but if you want it thicker, just don't spread it out as much or you can use more chocolate. After that's done, you can take your white chocolate and start drizzling it by the spoonful over top of the chocolate. Now again, you can use as much or as little as you want. I went a little bit crazy here, but I really wanted to make a cool swirl pattern in the next step, so I just added a ton of white chocolate. Then you can just grab a toothpick or a skewer and start swirling it through your chocolate. It takes a little bit of time, but you'll eventually see this really cool swirly marble pattern take place and you can just keep going until you're satisfied with how it looks. Then you can choose your toppings and I decided to go with mini Cadbury eggs and pretzel sticks because I wanted to do it sort of sweet and salty. And then all you have to do is just place them into the chocolate, as many or as few as you'd like. And then lastly, you're just going to pop the whole thing into the refrigerator for about 30 minutes to one hour. After that, you can just take it out and start cutting it up into big pieces and it should come apart pretty easily. Then all that's left to do is serve it up to your family and friends at Easter or, you know, just sit down by yourself and eat the whole thing in front of the TV. I mean, I'm not saying that I did that, but even if I did, like, it wouldn't be weird, right? Either way, I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, I'm going to make this really easy for you. All you have to do is click this button right here and you will get a notification whenever I post a new video, which is once a week. So hopefully I'll see you guys back here next week. Bye.